All right, well, it might be a little hard to see, but I put a piece of two by two steel inside the frame that goes all the way up to just beyond the weld line here that I had to put the two pieces together. You can see it in here, kind of. See it in there? That's a piece of two inch square. I believe it's eighth inch wall. And it's welded to the butt front of the tube because my transmission shifter ends up here, so I can't go anywhere near that. If you look down the tunnel, you can see the shifter tube. I have a hole for it, the bracket for it that goes right here inside so it doesn't affect it but it adds another piece of framework inside so I don't have to worry about uh, just the sheet metal here holding it together even though I haven't made those pieces pieces yet this thing's real hard to keep steady Woo! Um, on the bottom I cut out a little square so I could access it and I took that piece of metal and welded it to the end of the tube and then I welded the tube to this tube and rolled a piece up and around the corner and welded that here so it's got like a hook holding connecting the bottom of this square piece up and around to the center of the round tube or the torsion housing so it doesn't go up and down I could give you a little picture here see that and I mean it was some hard spots to reach in there but I made sure I got them you can see how the bottom doesn't even touch it when it hits this, it sits nice and flush. Everything's still level. What I did is slid it in the front and I let it touch this and I had to grind it and shape it a little bit and then uh, I hit the sides and the bottom after I made the access hole and it's pretty good. I like it. Um, on the bottom side, I'll show you pictures because I don't feel like picking it up again. I drilled 10 or 12 holes, clamped it through this hole with my big C clamp, which is right here. Clamp that pipe down moved it over to the center and I plug welded about 10 or 12 holes on the other side on the very bottom so from there to about right behind the shifter is another piece of two inch tubing so everything else can just be uh, fairly thick you know sheet metal cover I did trim this out too see how it's nice and squarish more of a straight edge where the hell is that piece I just had it I was looking at it this thing that's what was in there it's hot today, boy. Man, it's hot. Oh, I had to do a little grinding because my welding isn't very precise. See, very little grinding. Somebody was complaining, so they're no longer on my uh, YouTube channel. They can't, they can't see it. Unless they come in as a visitor and lock out or who knows what. But people uh, love to make rude comments. I don't care what you do online. You could put your hands in your pants and someone would bitch. <laughs> you could scratch your head the wrong way someone will bitch. You could... I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> it's just stupid. People love to sit in a chair and bitch. And I, I love it, especially when someone bitches on YouTube who has an account and hasn't made a single video. Not a one. Not about welding, grinding, Volkswagens, trikes, nothing. Nothing. Not a video. Not even about themselves. Because they have no life and they sit on a couch all day. Get a life. Get off the couch. Do something. Take some pictures. People want to see it. I don't care if people don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Change channels. You don't have to be on my channel. I could care less. But whatever. I'm going to use um, oh, Scott Cash and his brother-in-law. I cannot remember his name right now. I'm going to put a piece of tube in here. And I think I have it right there. But I think that's stainless steel. So eh, I don't think I want to do that. Not that it would hurt it, but... Just something to round that off and give it a little more strength, but I can't go anywhere near the center because I'll hit the shifter tube and that won't work. But that's it for today. This is the first day since the new video that I just put out, which I think was three days, but they were just minutes here and minutes there put together because uh, I just haven't had time to set up a camera. But I take pictures as I go and, you know, we're having fun. That's all that matters. Do I have to build another trike? No. Do I want to? Not really. Do I have all the parts to build one? Yeah, well, it's free. So let's do it. I like welding and grinding, and I haven't done it in a while. I kid you not, I think my welder sat for at least 10 months. Haven't touched it. Why did I pay $2,700 for it if I ain't going to touch it? I had enough engines and stuff for now. I need one set of dual port heads for this engine. The engine tin fix a few studs, and that's it. This thing could go together, but there's nothing for it to go in. So what do I put it in? I'll put it in this. And if it's done, if I like it, I keep it. If I don't, I'll get rid of it. 
Right, having fun. The Red Baron's right there. He's all covered up. He's nice and dry. That, uh, I gotta do body work and paint. The one freaking thing I absolutely hate. I won't avoid it, but I'll get there. Don't worry about it. It's not going anywhere. I love the uh, body trim. That looks really cool. That's it. I'm going in. You have a good night. Don't let the weirdos bite. Pretty. Not bad. It's a surface pad. It's a little grinding and some bondo. This is what it was. A big hole. I don't know if you can hear it. Whoops. Kind of dark. Yes. Anyway. Here's my surface patch. Don't pick on me. It ain't that great. It's okay. It's fine. Strong. That's all I'm worried about. Like it. One. And this is the other one. Big hole. Got to make that tomorrow probably. Park and break hole. Got to make that tomorrow probably. Tube that I added up the middle here. Two inch. Hey, you can barely see it there. You see it here? There it is. That thing is melted to there. And this side looks good. This side's a little on the surface side. Not too bad. Actually, I'm over it twice, so that eh, ain't too bad. I got holes to fill. There's a big dent here that is for a knob or something stupid, but well, that's got to go. I don't care if I make a surface patch and bondo the piss out of it. But it's just going to be on the edges. It's, it's not a Corvette. I filled in these corners to have something to grind. A lot of uh, frickin' mosquitoes. Yeah, land, you little bastard. Land. Ah, there he goes. Friggin' mosquitoes, man. Love the welding. Oh my god. So, hole, no hole. This is a 16 gauge. I went over to Don's house and uh, he took a sheet, the sheet metal from me a while ago. He had these kicking around. Two pieces of, uh, I think they're 8 by 18. 16 gauge. Yeah, I took a picture of it. That's it. Well, tonight. Uh, probably add this to uh, another video if I don't kill myself tripping over things. You know what this tool is? You know what that is? Anybody? Anybody? Okay.
All right, it's day like number three. I took a day off. I cut this piece, I cut the shelf piece actually. It's the same as the other one, except I was a quarter of an inch short in metal I didn't have anymore. I can fill that in with a strip. This is the piece off the same cardboard parton, pattern. Parton. How did I do it that right here? Cardboard pattern. It's absolutely identical to the other side. Except I just have to trim a little bit down the edge here, but not a big deal. Um, I bent it a little bit, so I got a deeper slot here, and then it smooths out. This piece will be shaped to the bottom. I'm going to pour some weld in this corner. Um, probably clamp it all down. I got that little hole to fix. If you look, this is like a quarter of an inch from there, and this one is like an eighth, so not a big deal. Just fixing a big rust hole. All right, so I'll take some pictures. Be back in a minute. Neighbors behind the garage, I can hear him. Guy's a jerk. This is a backrest of a tractor seat that I found on the side of the highway one day. I kid you not, going up the road and went, wait, what the hell was that? It was on top of a snowbank. I made a little piece of metal here, 
and I took a muffler clamp and I cut the hoop off and I welded it to the end so what happens is this actually goes in that hole right there and it just rolls forward very easily and then this piece is going to be part of this and there'll be another piece here and this will bolt in the front and then I'll have one nice bracket and then I'm going to make this bolt to whatever I put back here to hold it on this is the backrest to an exercise machine do I have the piece? Yes, I do. It's right here. This was something I was going to use in the Red Baron a while back, but it just wouldn't work out. So, let me get it on here. So we have a back seat. I know it looks big, but it's really not. Here's how it hides the battery. The battery's literally right behind it. Very easy. This piece will go, this notch will go into that, and that'll be another completely different bracket that's going to bolt together hopefully it'll all hold down pretty good um, kind of like an extra I did make my frame I think five and a half six inches longer than uh, Dawn's Dawn is actually right here trying to talk to me there he is um, it's working I got a couple of pieces to tack and then uh, I can put the frame and I gotta make something to lift the front up a little bit something to cover the hole a couple things here and there. I did make my battery bracket or my battery tray. That one wasn't too pretty because it was rusty and stupid me didn't clean it first. And after I got it tacked on, I realized it was rust there, so I just kind of tried to burn through it. But it worked. I made the battery tray, I believe it was nine. I made it 12, so it had an inch and a half on both sides for a uh, strap down. I made a strap down right here. I don't want to get you dizzy. Out of a piece of angle iron laid flat with the holes in it. I actually had these uh, rods and the wing nuts and the rubbers on the shelf, so it worked. But I'm going to continue making this seat bracket, and uh, I will have a removable back seat. Well, somewhat removable. The back comes off and the bottom unbolts, so you can do whatever you want with it. Leave it there, remove it, we'll find out. But this is, I believe, video number three? Could be four, could be five, I don't know. I'm going to blend them all together. I'm going to try and use my tablet from now on and just go nice and slow and take pictures because it comes out in order. It makes it so simple. But having fun. Still here. Well, I made a bracket that comes and bolts to the bottom of this seat, which is actually the back of the seat. That's a backrest. This is from a piece of exercise equipment, of course. Um, that bracket is secured down by that right there. In the back, it has two pins that guide it into a slot, and that slot is a um, 360 plate, so that's not going anywhere. Doesn't even doesn't even wiggle. <laughs> But this is the passenger seat. It was like a last minute thing. I was like, you know, the battery's tilted. I wonder if I could get this extra seat that I have in the back. And it fits. I made the brackets, like I said, to hold the battery down. Um, I'm going to put that together and take some pictures. But I've been out here all day having fun. Um, I'm going to set the other seat on too. Right there for some pictures. Um, I have a hole to patch underneath. I have this big hole to patch right here. Maybe I could make that some kind of storage compartment. Huh? Wouldn't that be cool? But, like I said, I've been out here all day and I am beat. First day, I'm on call. I'm on call this weekend. I had to go to Boston this morning. Um, where's my phone? 
Here's my phone. I got my phone with me if it rings. But, yeah, I had to go to Boston. That was a lot of fun. Alright, guys. I think the third video. Have a good night. I'll see you again soon. I also picked up a digital blinker for a dollar. <laughs> digital! I only made one fog light bracket so far. Use some fog lights I had, I figured. Eh, let's have fun with them, right? It's a little dark in here. I only got just two little lights. One there, one there. Um, I found a tank today. A little 134A uh, tank from uh, a garage. I made a little plate to go here and plug welded it. <sighs> welded a little bracket to the tank itself. Let me see if I can tune you in there. The lighting sucks. I cut the handle off and the valve off and I well, uh, and I didn't weld it. I threaded it to quarter MPT, added a brass fitting, a quarter inch barb, and a uh, brass cap. And inside the brass cap just happens to 
have a magnet that fit in there. It's absolutely pouring outside. Woo! There's the handle. I made the mistake of taking that off with an air chisel and I ripped the tank a little, but I added a couple patches anyway. It was kind of uh, thin on the bottom. But now I know how to do it, you know, learn by doing. I was screwing around the other day, I made a bracket for one of these cheap Chinese headlights I have. It's only no high beam, low beam, just on, literally, it's a fog light. I made extra brackets, identical to the others, so when the tank shows up, you should be able to just weld it to this one, weld it to the one that's going to be here. There's going to be a third up front that'll reach the tank. You're going to have three spots or it'll just rock, tilt, and rip open and start leaking. And it'll be a lot of fun to be gas everywhere. It's pretty close, too. But I've been out here probably two hours. There's my little, my little lawn chair. All these freaking transmissions everywhere. Ah, it's my home away from home. Just having fun. Sit out in the garage and weld things. There's nothing better than welding things. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? <laughs> That's it. I am going in. I'm going to hide my tablet and run for the door. Have a good night. Hopefully I can pack all these videos together. I haven't made one in a little bit. I must apologize. I'll have to put all these pictures together and uh, do something with them. I picked up this one, too. It's uh, pretty pink. It's a balloon uh, helium tank. It's actually a little bigger. This one is about, I think they, let's put it that way. That, that tank is five gallons. I put it next to this one. It's just a hair smaller. So this is probably about four and a half gallons. Maybe five because it's a little bigger around. So, say it's four and a half. We're going to have four, eight, nine. When there's two tanks, we're going to have nine gallons. Now, it doesn't seem like much, but your average Volkswagen had a 10-gallon tank. If you wanted a bigger one, you could buy one that had like an extended tank. It cost you a couple hundred bucks, but it was like 15 gallons. We're going to have about nine and a half, maybe 10, if I'm lucky. But I'll find out. Brackets welded on pretty good. The, the tapping went okay. Uh, I like the magnet idea. It just happened to be something I had that fit. And you can take it out because everything's brass. It doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't stick to anything. So you can just take the drain plug out with a wrench and slide the magnet out with a just stick a mag, stick a piece of metal in there and pull it out. That was a pretty neat idea. But that is it. I'm going in. Have a good night. I will talk to you later. All right, well, just dug this out of Dawn Shed. I cut this out of a car probably five years ago. It's It was a race car somebody had junked, and this is a Willwood uh, brake reservoir and a clutch reservoir. It's got two master cylinders and a little master cylinder for the clutch, and it's got the pedals. Somebody hacked it here. That wasn't me, but I can fix that. Uh, I need to, it's got brackets and everything. Just got to clean them up. Clean them up and rebuild them. It's actually got double reservoirs to one pedal, which obviously your brakes. But I really like the clutch pedal. That could be nice. And since I got a hydraulic clutch for free that's laying over there on the ground, it's going to be a nice addition with the little cap. So maybe I can put this one out front or uh, hide them in the back. We'll see. But I'll make something up. Just wanted to show you. I pulled this out of the archives at Don's house. One of the things I had put away <laughs> when I was helping them clean. But we're going to need some fittings, and we're going to have some fun with this thing. All right, taking pictures.